these are some of the take home messages. Travel will be dangerous to impossible Wednesday evening into th early Thursday morning with those one to three inch per hour snowfall rates causing poor visibility and rapid accumulation. This is where some of the heaviest of rain is falling, possibly even some small hail associated with this storm along Route 67 and 172. We want to continue our team coverage of this blockbuster snowstorm today as Marissa Ferger is here talking more in depth about the snow totals across the state. Penn State basketball is on the rise after their big win last night against Rutgers, but our temperatures have been on the decline. In our second experiment, we're gonna answer the questions, why is the sky blue? and what causes those beautiful red and orange colors that we see during a sunset. Just a few wispy cirrus clouds out there with beautiful blue skies. If I wasn't doing the weather right now, I'd probably be out there playing a round of golf. Thanks, Hunter. Yeah, I'm live right outside the studio here in Innovation Park, where it's that time of year when the leaves are starting to change their color. This tornado warning in effect until 9 p.m. tonight. So if you live in eastern Warren County, go to your tornado safe place right now. It's also our Friday forecast frenzy today. So we'll have your extended forecast. The key is that the movement is only west-northwest at one mile per hour, practically stationary. On a nice day like today, I'm gonna head out for a ride. But whether or not, I'm Jacob Morris. Let's go. Good afternoon, everyone. Our warm up continues today, and it's a gorgeous conclusion to the work week as you're taking a live look outside at Mount Nittany with plenty of blue skies out there. Right now, a temperature at 64 degrees, quite mild for this time of year. Winds out of the west southwest at 14 miles per hour, ushering in that much more mild air mass. And that'll stick around briefly over the next couple of days, but man, what a difference a couple of days makes in terms of weather here in Pennsylvania. On Wednesday, just a couple of days ago, we had snow squalls moving through our area. High temperature only made it up to 33 degrees. And now today we're forecasting a high of 65 degrees, feeling more like early October instead of mid to late November today across the Commonwealth as temperatures are warming up into the mid to upper 50s to low to mid 60s right now across the state, about 10 to 15 degrees above average for this time of year. And the radar and satellite imagery is showing those uh, dry and clear conditions across the state right now. And across the entire lower 48, not a whole lot of weather happening, just a really weak cold front across the Midwest. Otherwise, quiet weather conditions across the country. But our weather pattern will turn more active as we get into the next work week. So time this hour by hour for you with future weather. You see clear skies throughout the rest of the day today. Those clouds will be on the increase in the overnight hours tonight. We'll be seeing mostly cloudy skies throughout the day on Saturday, but the mild conditions will be around. And today and tomorrow are both great days if you're planning on traveling out of State College and home for a Thanksgiving break. For the day tomorrow, a high temperature of 54 degrees here in State College with mostly cloudy skies. And then on Sunday, those a uh, couple of showers will enter our forecast in State College with a high of 43 degrees. And then in other cities across the Northeast, if you're home for Thanksgiving break, temperatures in the low 50s. In Pittsburgh, we'll see some rain enter the forecast. We can see that on Futurecast. This is starting off on Sunday morning, and we see the rain entering western Pennsylvania. This storm system will slowly progress eastward. The bulk of the precipitation will come through central Pennsylvania Sunday night and into Monday morning. That storm system will then exit the state. We'll be seeing clear skies on Tuesday of next week, but that active weather pattern will bring in another storm system for Wednesday and maybe even lingering around for Thursday of next week. Here's a five-day temperature trend for State College. We'll see the next couple of days with mild temperatures well above average for this time of year before temperatures will dip below average for the second half of your weekend and for a couple of days to start next week. Your seven-day your seven forecast shows those dry conditions over the next couple of days before that storm system moves through Sunday night and into the day on Monday. Then we could see that uh, secondary storm system move through Wednesday and maybe lingering into Thanksgiving on Thursday of next week. David, over to you with sports. It will be bitter and breezy out there tonight with temperatures falling back into the teens and single digits across the Commonwealth. Wind chills below zero across the northwest with winds at times gusting to 30 miles per hour. Snow showers will taper off across the west tonight and clouds will be clearing. But watch for that refreeze as some areas have melted throughout the day today and then they'll refreeze with these cold temperatures tonight. 
Then in the day tomorrow, more sunshine across the central and eastern half of Pennsylvania. Low clouds, though, should hang tough in the west as snow will arrive overnight south of the turnpike and overspread the entire Commonwealth on Thursday. A plowable snow likely throughout mo uh, most of Pennsylvania. I think the heaviest accumulations might come in south central PA. The snow will taper off overnight as this system pushes out, and we do have to watch a tr uh, changeover that's possible in southeastern Pennsylvania, a lesser chance of that changeover in southwestern parts of Pennsylvania, but another storm system moving into our area. Marissa, back to you. With the winter season quickly approaching, it won't be too long before snow starts to accumulate on the roadways across Pennsylvania. The Public Works Department of the city, borough, or township that you live in plays an important role in clearing snow and keeping roadways safe for you to travel on. Today we'll take a closer look at these snow removal efforts here in the Ferguson Township, located in Center County. Preparations for the upcoming winter season have already begun for the Public Works Department in the Ferguson Township. The ways that we prepare, we make sure we have all our materials ordered and we have materials on hand. So we, rock salt is our go-to material. We order that through a cooperative program with the state like most of the other municipalities. The township goes through about 1,500 tons of salt per year, which the snow removal crew of 14 people uses to help clear around 100 miles of roadway and 8 miles of bike paths within their township after each winter storm. The other thing we'll do is just we calibrate our trucks because we have ground speed controls so we can put down the right amount of material uh, depending on the storm and how fast the trucks are traveling. Clearing snow for the over 19,000 people that live in the Ferguson Township and for those who are traveling through the area is not an easy task as there are some challenges that the Public Works Department faces throughout the winter. I would say the biggest challenge that our crew has is traffic. It is difficult for the guys to clear the roads while the motoring public's out there and while there's vehicles parked on the road. So it's helpful when residents know to you know move their vehicles if we're expecting more than two inches of snow. We understand people need to move around and get to work to the extent that people you know can wait and don't have to be out there during a storm. That helps the guys get the roads cleared. As the Ferguson Township continues to prepare for the winter, you should also make sure that your car is ready to go over these next couple of months. It's a good idea to have an ice scraper, a flashlight, gloves, emergency flares, and a first aid kit in your car during the winter months. Now is also a good time to check on the tires, the battery, and the antifreeze in your car so that you're ready to go whatever the weather may be like outside. For Weather World, I'm Jacob Morse.